Why, dog? What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Hey, it's intro time. What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. We still have a messed up tire, so this is kind of weird. Still feels a little bit funky. We're on the hands-free leash again. We haven't been this route in a really long time. I have no idea why. It's probably been like two weeks since I've brought crypto over here. I just haven't been exercising him as much. Someone did ask me, are you noticing a difference with crypto's teeth? Sit. And I actually haven't been checking out his teeth. His teeth still look the same. Now I'm pretty sure over time they will whiten. Just like, so no, I have not noticed any difference with his teeth ever since I switched to the barf diet. It won't fix your dog's teeth, but it won't damage them. A couple of you guys have asked about my camera setup. The camera I'm using right now is a GoPro Hero 5 Black. I do normally film 1280p, 60 frames per second, which is what I'm filming with right now. This is the normal view. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna go to the super wide angle. All that does is widens the angle slightly more. Let's switch over to super view. Remaining it at 1280, 60 frames per second. So this is now the super view. It's called super view. I don't ever think I've filmed with a super view. I try to stick to my normal settings. This camera is capable of shooting 4K, but in order to actually see potential in 4K, you need someone to have a 4K monitor. And a lot of people don't have 4K monitors. Again, this is the super view at 1280, 60 frames per second. My dog kicking like a donkey. For all of you guys that are new, this is Crypto. I'm gonna say he's two years and five months. He is a guy. People have been asking if he's a girl or a guy. He's a guy, he's packing heat. This field does have a bunch of squirrels. I will need to make a video walking Crypto straight through the path of squirrel death. Super view activated. I feel like a Decepticon. Go dog. All this super view and that ass still couldn't stay in frame. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it over to the next highest resolution. We are now at 1280p, 80 frames per second. If you guys don't really know about the photography type stuff, all the frames per second is, every time you click a picture, that's one frame. So every second, this is shooting 80 of those. All that's good for is slow-mo. In other words, clapping moments. Booty. At least for what I use it for. But we're still on super view. The more frames, the better the slow motion looks. All you need is 60 frames to get really nice, crispy slow motion. And of course, he doesn't want to hit the v tag. Let's get off of 80 frames. There's absolutely no point on using 80 frames. I'm not even sure if my computer could render 80 frames per second. What are you eating? We went a resolution lower. We dropped it down to 960p at 60 frames per second. Every time you drop the resolution, that just means you're using less memory on your memory card. I currently have a 64 gigabyte class 10 micro SD card on this. The camera would die before the SD runs full. Oh, he's gonna be so sad when he realizes that this thing's closed. It's closed, it's closed. Oh my gosh. Let's drop it even lower to 720p. 
We are now filming with 720p, 60 frames per second. We're keeping it 60 frames. YouTube is a platform where you don't really need good quality video. Good quality video is always a really big benefit. A channel can go big if they just have really good content. I would always say it's best to have good content than good video quality. That being said, everyone can start a YouTube channel. With what you have right now, which most likely you're watching this through a cell phone, you can start a YouTube channel with just a cell phone camera. You don't need any fancy equipment to start a YouTube. Once your YouTube channel starts progressing, of course you will want to start upgrading and making the content look better. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you can start it with whatever you have. So again, this is 720p at 60 frames per second. All right, that's creepy. I know when I film on 1280p, 60 frames per second, the highest YouTube shows is 720p HD. I wonder if since I filmed on 720, will the 720 option not be available? We got some loose doggos. Good boy, Crypto. This Just work with me on this video, guys. This is all experimental. This is actually the first time I've, I've switched resolution settings. Come on. We're still rocking the no hands leash. Some people are asking about the leash. The links to all my products are always in the description. I haven't even checked on the harness to see if it's available or not. If this video turns out to be a complete fail, I apologize. I'll try my best to make this video work out. Let's switch back to 1080. We're back on 1080p, 60 frames per second. Just wide angle, not super wide. I just wanted to make this video for all of you guys asking about the camera. Right now, the camera is strapped to my chest. That's pretty much the only place this camera rests, except for sometimes when I'm at my house, I strap it onto my head. I do have a couple different mounts for this camera. Still need to make the review on that kit. Probably just do the review on the kit and this footage in the same video. The next part of this video will be the GoPro accessory kit review. Superview looks insane. This is the GoPro kit I purchased. The chest mount GoPro cells alone is more expensive than all of this combined. I purchased this off Amazon. It's made by a company called Zuki. This was like the first thing I bought when I purchased the GoPro. You guys have seen the chest mount on action on most of my videos. This here is a clip. This is the primary way it attaches to everything. The main reason why I purchased this kit was this, the chest mount. One of the main reasons why I purchased the GoPro was because of the variety of attachments that you can buy. It comes with a bunch of sticky adhesives. I did attach one to my car. It has one on the inside and on the outside. This is the head strap. This is the head strap in action. GoPro, they're so greedy with their money. Right now I'm shooting with the raw audio. If you want an external mic, this is the thing you need. It's called the mic adapter. It's sold by GoPro and only GoPro. This alone is $50. This is pretty expensive. This is the microphone I use. It's a newer lapel mic. It comes with three probably the cheapest microphone you could buy the reason why i went with these is because they're super cheap and if you were ever to break them you could just bree up on them i do have another one strapped to the inside of my motorcycle helmet for the moto vlogs as far as my motorcycle helmet all it is is the original gopro gopro thingy with an extender i bought this off of gopro and it cost twenty dollars this Velcro is for the GoPro mic adapter. I attached the other side of the Velcro right here so I can stick it here so it won't be dangling around. It's the same newer microphone that I use with Crypto. I just tucked it inside and it's inside on the cheek pads. The motorcycle helmet, this is an Icon airframe with the clown decal on it. But I love this thing, this thing looks beast. Still haven't gotten pulled over for the mask. This right here is also a different mount. I have used this on my previous videos. 
It also comes with this right here. Same thing I had on the motorcycle helm. This is for added safety. You add this adhesive to let's say the side of the helmet and then you add this and this thin little thing they send. If the camera was to fall over, you have somewhat of a better chance on retrieving it and hoping it doesn't break. This is a really nice accessory it comes with. This is the handlebar mount. This here is the tripod mount. Face reveal. That's the selfie stick. It could extend pretty long. There's a rat comparison to it. This here is a floaty. I wouldn't even know where this would go. The last thing this comes with is this suction cup right here. Well, that was easy. I have no idea about the suction cup, so I wouldn't really trust it. That's pretty much it on the accessory kit, guys. I hope this answered your guys' questions on all my setup. I finally took the time to make this video. A lot of you guys have been asking about all my setup. That's going to go ahead and be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow my Snapchat and Instagram at KZE underscore productions.